What's up YouTube, my name is Bob Morrison and welcome back to Nerdly. Today on Nerdly I'm doing a different type of review. Um, I have recently been getting into puzzles and stuff and I know I've showed card games on here before but usually I don't really show puzzles because there's nothing really to show. But um, this one's pretty cool. There's this company called uh, 4D Cityscapes and what they do is they make uh, puzzles that are 3D like they have buildings and stuff which is really wicked. And they're 4D because it adds an element of time. But some of them they do um, are DC superheroes, which is really wicked. Like, they have a Batman one, and they have a Superman one, which I got. I didn't finish the whole puzzle because it was really difficult to do, and I didn't get all of it. So, and a lot of the puzzle looks the same, so it's really hard to, like, differ which is which. So, anyways, um, I just built... A metropolis island and i'm gonna give it uh to a friend of mine who likes superman more than me because i don't really have a place to put these but i thought i'd show it before i gave it away so i don't really have a setup to show these but this is what metropolis looks like and well an overhead sort of oops that's what metropolis looks like well i wrote metropolis so then you go so that's what metropolis looks like and down here, um, the first tower you see is the Le LexCorp building. Um, the Daily Planet is right behind it, so you know that's an easy walk for Superman. Um, this is the the One World Trade Center, because this is basically New York City. Um, and you might not believe that, but a lot of the buildings on the bottom of them say New York whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure... Um, this is a different version of the Rockefeller Center. It has to be. Um, right down here on the coast, this is Star Labs, like where um, I think the Flash was made. But I'm not too sure. This is the Superman statue. It's not like the one where he died in Man of Steel. No, Batman vs. Superman. This one is just him, um, golden, with an eagle, because it's an American thing. So that's what he looks like. Uh, here's a rip-off Empire State Building right here. Um, a lot of stadiums and stuff. There's not a lot to this thing. I'm pretty sure this is um, a museum right here, which is pretty cool. Instead of Central Park, it's Centennial Park. And, in, and yeah, I, just, I, I thought this puzzle was pretty cool. It was really hard to put together the puzzle part because I can actually show you. I still have the thing. This is what it would look like when you're done. Just like this giant this giant thing. And this border here with all the comics was included. But it was just it was too complicated. It was too hard to make it. So I just made the foam part instead because I thought that was a little easier. And it was more fun. And so yeah, so now I have a metropolis, which is cool. Well for now. And then I'm gonna give them to my friend. And he will like it a lot more. So yeah. So that is Metropolis, Ugh. and the next one is really close, sorry. <clears throat> I couldn't do Metropolis and leave out New York City. This is the New York City puzzle, which I am super excited to show you. This one has taken me over the past week to create, and it's been very difficult. Like the other one, I didn't get to make the whole entire one. I decided to go foam instead of doing the whole puzzle, but I have done a lot of it. Um, what this puzzle did was the island of New York City was supposed to be New York in the 1700s. And then when you put the foam on top, it's supposed to be what New York looks like now, which is pretty cool. Um, I couldn't finish the New York in the 1700s because it was just too complicated. It looked... A lot of the landscape looked the same as anything else, so trying to put it together was really complicated, and you couldn't, uh, I couldn't figure it out. So you know, it was just a lot easier to go foam and create a city, which is cool. So, anyways, um, I learned a lot making this puzzle, like how the queens in the Bronx aren't on the the island. Like, I knew New Jersey wasn't, but I didn't know uh, the Queens in the Bronx weren't on the island. I learned that now, so I'm just going to pick this up again and do overhead. That is New York City, and that took me a week to build. 
So, anyways, going down along here. Uh, oh, sorry. This is the Statue of Liberty. No crap. And that's what it looks like. If you can see it, I don't think you can see it, no. Oh, yeah, there's Lady Liberty on Liberty Island. Uh, here's one World Tra Trade Center here, and the other World Trade Centers that they were building. Um, here's the Empire State Building. Um, the Rockefeller Center. Um, that's, um... I can't remember what that is. Um, it's, uh, oh, Madison Square Garden. It's not a square, it's a circle, but, you know whatever um this build this was a really cool build because every time you inserted a building you got to see what new york looked like well looked like back then which was really interesting uh the first building is actually right here this really tiny building right here that is new york city hall and that was the first building to be put into New York City, which I didn't know. Um, a lot of the other ones came later, like the bridges and stuff that you saw in the overhead. Those ones came later. Um, uh, Central Park has the Museum of Art, I think. Uh, they don't show the zoo, but um, it's really it's really interesting. Um, all the things that are here, like you got Hell's Kitchen, which is interesting that they put that. Um, I couldn't find one piece, so there's just a piece missing in the map, but luckily no buildings went there, so, you know, um, I could just make it like that, um, well, make it not there, um, and it does go through time, so it does go, like, um, they are, there are two missing pieces in the map where the original World Trade Center sat, and... It's it's sad. I didn't want to include them, but you know you have to because it's history, and you can't ignore history. But um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that now when I give it to someone. Maybe I'll put something there to make it look like the memorial, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it, and the person I give it to because I can't keep these puzzles. I put these puzzles together. I glue them together with this cool um glue. I don't know where it is right now, but it's in the bottle of a puzzle piece, which is cool, but it falls over, so it's not cool. But, um, yeah, I can't keep these things, so I give them to other people, so then whatever they do with it, it's up to them. Um, it's really interesting, though, building uh, other cities. Like, I have a puzzle of Toronto on my fridge, which is a magnetic puzzle, and just seeing, like, where everything goes, and you're like, oh, that's where that is, and that's where that is, so... I think, and there is a Toronto puzzle, if it's ever cheap, because it's expensive, I, I might get it, and then give it to someone who likes Toronto a lot, or keep it, you know, put it in a frame, just keep the foam part, so yeah, yeah, these are really cool to make, they're not easy, they're challenging, so if you're looking for something easy, these aren't for you, um, and for me, I was uh, lucky enough to be able to build most of the puzzle before... I abandoned and made it foam, which helped a lot because then it was easier for me to put buildings in. And this is just a warning. Buildings do slip out. Uh, hot glue tends to be the thing you want to use for this sort of thing. Uh, when I had to <clears throat> um, stop with uh, New York in the seven, uh, 1700s, I, all I did was slip some, two pieces of paper underneath the puzzle. And that is holding all the buildings in place because I hot glued the buildings to the piece of paper and the puzzle. So that's what's holding it all together. And it's just really interesting seeing this because this, like, New York City is like the Marvel comic headquarters, basically. It's where all the superheroes are. And it's it's a place I've always wanted to go to, mostly because of the Hayden Planetor uh, Planetorium. Um, planetarium, sorry, planetarium, um, and just Times Square and stuff, and so yeah, it's, it was cool to build New York City, and that's a weird statement, but you know, I built New York City, sorry, I just pushed the piece down too far, yeah, um, if you, um, don't want your pieces to slip down, I suggest building the whole thing, but I'm stubborn in a way because I well I I don't like taking the easy route out but 
Sometimes I do, and that's just what happens, you know? That's just what happens. There we go. I fixed it. If you want to see something cool, though, that I didn't know, is that this building right here is even on uh, the Metropolis map, and this is the UN building, and I didn't know that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, yeah, these these puzzles are cool, and if you guys liked this video, I will do more puzzles and show them off which is really cool and yeah that's that's about it for me um i'm just enjoying this and then i get them out of my house and give them to people who will actually like them uh and they're actually going to teachers which are cool like teachers i used to have because i know that they liked going like one teacher loves superman so i'll give it to him and another teacher he went with the school to New York City, and I know that he loved it, so, you know, might as well give it to him, so, you know, there you go, so that's it for this video, if you liked it, um, please leave a like, and I will see you guys later, and if I do make another puzzle video, I will show you the, oh, wait, one sec, If you like making puzzles and you want them to stay together forever, use this stuff. This is Smart Puzzle Glue. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just letting you know. Like, this is some good glue. It's clear. Um, if you're going to apply it, I suggest after applying it, you actually use it. Unlike me, because a lot of places on these puzzles, I didn't realize that I had glue already. Because it, it is transparent and it disappears. And... It looks like a puzzle piece, which is cool. It doesn't want to stand up, though. But it's supposed to cover three puzzles, but I used too much, so now I'll cover one more. And so, yeah, that's it for me, and I will see you guys later. Bye.